Hello everybody, today I uh, would like to share with you the information I found regarding the approach of differentiation as seen and researched by Carol Tomlinson. First of all, I uh, will talk about the concept of differentiation, then I will address responsive classes and the principles of this approach. After that, I will uh, discuss with you some talks about differentiation and how uh, this approach would work in my context. So, let's start. What is differentiation? From the perspective of Carl Tomlinson, it is an approach that allows teachers to respond to the needs of learners, keeping in mind their differences in terms of cultural background, readiness to learn and learning styles. Responsible uh, regarding this, uh, it is important to take into account that we must create responsive classes rather than one size fits all. But that, what does it mean? It means that teachers understand that each student's uniqueness makes them what they are. They acknowledge this fact and accept it. More than anything, teachers respond to difference by planning ahead to respond to it. It means planning for the unpredictability of the classroom. More than anything, we know uh, that with time, some lessons uh, are going to be difficult at certain point for learners to understand. So we need to start thinking about that before before starting to execute the lesson. That means we need to anticipate and uh, keeping in mind this, we can start to apply strategies that help our learners to cope with the difficulties they might have. Uh, differentiation needs to be proactive, planning ahead, ahead and not improvising help all the time. I mean, as teachers, we sometimes improvise a little bit because we cannot anticipate everything in the classroom but it is important to think about what are the possible difficulties that a learner will have and attend them even before these um, difficulties present but well regarding this what would be the non-negotiables of differentiation first of all when we think when we start to apply this this approach and bearing in mind that each learner is very different because it has a, a different a totally different cultural background everyone learns in different ways and everybody has different different interests we have to think about different uh, we we have to think about how we can provide them with different choices so First of all, if we provide different task choices, these tasks must be respectful. But what does it mean? That means that uh, those tasks uh, must be equally appealing, thoughtful, and important. So that learners uh, look at these different tasks and think, well, I, I think that this I, task suits me better. But the one that my classmate is doing is not more difficult than mine or easier. So, I mean, we have different tasks, but, both, but all of those choices are equally challenging for us. Also, it is important to think about the quality of the curriculum. Uh, regarding this, that means that teachers need to use diverse techniques we need to improve all of the time how are we teaching how are we planning what are the activities we are we are designing also a uh, other principle of differentiation is flexible grouping kids might be organized in in different arrangements taking into account for example their interests or we can organize them as we want sometimes as they want to be organized 
or maybe some of your times taken into account their learning styles. Uh, if we make multiple arrangements, they are going to benefit. Their learning will be more beneficial. Also, it is important to take into account that in this approach, continual assessment is very important. That means that assessment happens in a daily basis. And, uh, and it is not just quantitative, but, is, but it is also um, an assessment that is qualitative. We need to we do this because we need to check the effectiveness of the of our instructions, of our instruction, our techniques, as well as their pro progress. In case we need to take some other decisions that are more beneficial for their learning process. Also, while we're doing differentiation, it is important to learn to build community. We need to to create a sense that it is not necessary to minimize anybody and that everybody is valuable in our classroom environment. So that they are going to start working collaboratively and as a group. Well, um, after discussing this principle, it is important to take into account that teachers can differentiate through the content the way they adapt the content they are they have to to address during the different learning units we can also differentiate through the process through the different choices of of the learning products we provide to our students and also uh, through the relationship we have with our students and also Students might be different because of their readiness to learn, their interests, and the way they learn. Their le that means their learning styles. Now, what did I learn from watching uh, Mrs. Tomlinson's lecture? I, I learned that differentiation is a teaching approach that seeks to acknowledge every learner as an individual who has different interests learning styles and readiness to learn when a teacher bears this in mind while planning and teaching it might be possible that different learning choices are provided to assure that everybody learns furthermore at the moment each learner is recognized and accepted they are empowered now uh let's think about how can i apply these differentiation approach in my context. First, I could um, provide my learners with different learning products. That means that kids might have the opportunity of representing what they learn using different means, as a graphic organizer, a video, or a song, for example. Also, I need to think about my learner's interests. When choosing readings, videos or input it needs to be based on what they are interested in it needs to be meaningful and about something that it, that it is happening right now and also something that encourages them to create to produce something maybe to take action in their communities also i need to learn how to make effective grouping that means that my learners might be grouped to accomplish to accomplish tasks in which each one is, a, is assigned with a role and they have to reach a common goal. If I give every learner a different role, they are going to be empowered uh, in their leader, uh, be, uh, they, they are going to be empowered to be leaders of their own learning process, but also they will feel that what they do is valuable to, to reach a goal as a group. So thank you very much for listening. Hope you have enjoyed this presentation. And on the post, I will I will paste the link of the of Mrs. Tomlinson lectures in case you want to see it. Thank you very much.